My name is Mina Sartipi. I'm with the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, and I also lead the research program we have on urban science and technologies. One of the projects we're working on is on transportation. We're working on fleet management of connected autonomous vehicles in extreme urban environments. Autonomous vehicles, they're almost everywhere now. Because of the advancement in the technologies, they are accelerating and also we are seeing them more and more. One of the things is they are focusing on each individual car. That they are equipped with a lot of sensors and they are using those sensors to know where the car is and how can to get to its des destination. We're counting on a lot of information that it might not actually exist. Like, what if GPS failed? If maybe a sensor failed? We are talking about transportation. Even one second delay is too much. We want to have a real-time data that can be transmitted in real time and a decision can be made. So that's where we came up with the idea of maybe we also need to allow them to be connected together and, you know, talking with each other, sharing their information, sharing the information from the infrastructure and using all of that, making a more intelligent decision and be more reliable and efficient. US Ignite, uh, to me, ignites the deployment and development of applications that require gigabit internet connection. Smart cities would be um, helping improving the quality of life of citizens. We would be doing the same thing that we're doing now, but more efficiently and effectively. Majority of these technologies are focusing on how can we equip each individual car to have enough knowledge about where is it, how can we get to the destination um, safely and reliably. I get to work with people that are working on the ground on these projects. They are working with the city. They are the ones that are telling us what are the problems. And what we are trying to do is really trying to help them to address this problem. And this is a collaboration that I have never done before. Like, you know, a very close relationship that we have with the society, with the community, that comes with the real problem that they are having. And we are, going, we are seeing that how can we address that? How can we help them, you know, fixing some of those issues?